Hey everyone, this is Deborah from Fleet and Family Support Center and I want to take some time today to talk with you about a subject that's hard, honestly. Uh, suicide prevention is not something that is talked about lightly, uh, but I want to spend time with you today over a couple of segments to talk about some things that we can look for some times that we may need to be aware of, not just within our own lives, but within friends and family members' lives. Uh, and then some resources to be able to provide to someone in need or to ourselves. So one of the biggest things that we are all aware of, I'm sure, is the statistics. And they are not in our favor. Um, they are increasing and have been increasing over the past 30 years or so uh, with regards to numbers of suicides. And that's not just within the military sector. Uh, it is true for our veterans. It is true for our civilian sector friends. Um, so it's all across the board. And, you know, many of us, if it's one person, right, then it's one person too many. And many of us have been impacted by suicide in one way, shape, or form. Whether it was somebody that we love or a friend of a friend of a friend. And you kind of have that ripple effect. Um, but many of us have been impacted in one way or another. So I want to shed some light, um, provide these tips that you have probably heard time and time again. Um, but also provide those resources as well. So one of the things that I thought about at the beginning was that it needed to be a big gesture to help somebody in need. Uh, if it was somebody that was coming to me, like I, I am a fixer, so I had to fix it all. Whether that meant paying a whole lot of money because that's what they needed or offering them a room in my house uh, you know, you name it, I wanted to be there to, to fix it all, right? And, then, and that's where I thought it had to be some big thing that I could just take away from them. Um, but that's not how it is, right? It doesn't have to be some grand gesture, some big overture uh, for that person, a lot of times it's truly what they tell us in that it's just one small thing, right? It is one small act that makes the biggest difference in that person's life. So as we go through these segments, I challenge you to think of a couple of things. The first one is I want you to think about what small acts could you do in those times of need? Is it buying someone a cup of coffee? Is it sitting down and listening to them as they explain what's going on? Is it asking them to join you for a walk or a hike or you know, sharing with them something that's going to help, right? Maybe a resource. The second thing I want you to think about is how you are taking care of you. So self-care is not selfish. And I want you to remember that. If we are not good, if we are not coming up from a place of being whole, of being green, if you want to think about it in terms of the operational stress continuum, then it makes it harder for us to be able to support that person in need. Um, and so think about those two things as we go through Again, what is that small act that you can do? And then how are you practicing self-care? How are you making sure that you are good to go in that moment if it ever comes? So stay tuned.